Hello everyone and welcome to another iMindMap 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we'll talk about the different ways in which you can export your mind maps and use that information. The image exporter allows you to save out an image of your mind map to your computer. You can create a PDF, a JPEG or a PNG and for PNG files you can choose to remove the white background for a transparent image. You can choose a size for the map using the presets or enter your own desired dimensions. Keeping maintain aspect ratio checked will ensure that your map isn't squashed or stretched disproportionately when choosing your own size. Once you have your image exported, you can easily share it via email, add it to other documents or upload it to social media, just as you would any other kind of image. A 3D image is a JPEG, PNG or PDF just like the standard image. However, you will need to enter 3D mode in order to export. Once in 3D mode, set up the angle you'd like to view the map from and use the options menu in the bottom right corner of the screen to export the image. This export option will allow you to create a presentation from your mind map, editable in software such as PowerPoint and Keynote. Once you've chosen whether you'd like multiple PowerPoint slides, PDF images, or a single animated slide, you'll be able to fine-tune the animations and timings of your presentation before going for the final export. You can also export your presentation as a video file, which is useful for rehearsing presentations within a time limit or for referencing at a later date. Create a drop task project from your mind maps for visual management of your workload. This can also be done from time map view. Choose which branches you'd like to become tasks and which you'd like to be groups, and iMindMap and DropTask will work together to build a project using that information within DropTask. Using this export option creates a Microsoft project file from your map. You can use information from a time map generated from your mind map if you'd prefer, but if you haven't generated a time map, you can still just take the information straight from the mind map. You can adjust the order of the hierarchy using the branch ordering window by moving branches up and down the list. This option creates a zip file containing all of the documents necessary for your map to function fully on another computer or hard drive. It will pull any attached files and folders, including child maps, into the zip file along with the IMX file for the map you are exporting. You're also able to set a password for the zip from within the exporter, keeping your file secure. Exporting as a document creates a Word file using the information on your mind map, including text notes and links to attached files. This is useful when creating a report or an essay from a plan that you've mind mapped. The SVG exporter creates a high quality vector export of your map that's editable and scalable with design software such as Adobe Illustrator and Affinity Designer. Using the information from your map, this option creates a spreadsheet document usable in software like OpenOffice and Excel. This allows you to create HTML files that link together like a website using the information on your map. This option will export any audio notes you have attached to your map as a sound file. This exports the raw information behind your map in the open source editable format of an OPML file. And that concludes the different export options that you can find within iMindMap 10. Hope you've enjoyed, and see you next time.